Yeah, he was sort it's of okay. Eat more yet. candy. That'll probably fix it. <laughs> no. All right. We're doing to okay. I'm not gonna listen to mom. Wow. Mom does. Mom does not have my best interests at heart. Wow. <laughs> I want a divorce. I'm gonna ruin. Hey, hey, I'm your mom. <laughs> but, no, I'm your I'm not, but I'm dad. I'm. But I'm dad. So what does what does that make just, us? Uh, what is going just, on? How can I be? How can I be both mom and your mom? That's weird. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Took a turn. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> so, weird domestic disputes aside. Where it's we last the, left off. It's not domestic, sister Giorno. <laughs> I thought about kicking you out of the call, but I just decided not to. <laughs> Seppi, your, your puns give me life. <sighs> where we last left off, you guys were on the fun little island of Clearhaven, where mm -hmm. Reese's parents were supposedly at, as well as uh, a company of silver knights. And somewhere that has yet to be determined, one greater sin of lust. Uh, I believe where we last left off, you guys were making a collect call directly to Reese's mother, and yes. we were waiting for the response on that. Yep. So, picking up from where we left off, uh, you send the spell out, uh, and there's a pause for a moment. And then you finally hear a response come flowing into your head. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Uh, sorry if you've been trying to call us. Things are a bit locked down here. Did you just arrive, your father and... And she hits the word count. <laughs> God damn it, Mom. <laughs> There's a pause for a moment as you try to process what just happened before you feel somebody reach out to you with a message. <laughs> oh, sorry, dear. Mother got carried away. We're with the king until evening, but you're welcome to join us for dinner at the Vintage Yard, 6 p.m. Uh, don't worry, Father. I understand how she gets. I would be happy to join you. All right. Considering how high of a level spell it is, you don't expect a response, but you know yes. generally that your responses will be met by him. <laughs> Reese just kind of... Smiles a little bit. <laughs> it just has a drink. It's like, well, I know where my parents are. They've invited us for dinner. Well, invited me for dinner. And you'll have a you'll have a plus one through five. <sighs> okay, ground rules. <laughs> we can let the lad so, have a night with his parents. It's fine. Well, it's probably safer if we stay together. Um, ground rules, so don't talk about how my, famous my parents are, please. Uh, secondly, be very them. polite. Yeah, exactly. Um, be polite. Don't ask awkward questions about me. Don't ask my parents whose son I really am. That would be great. Why would we ask that? <sighs> Why? <sighs> I'm kind mind. of offended. Yeah. I'm just covering all bases. I mean, he did let me meet his mom, and I immediately told her, like, how beautiful I thought she was, and, like, how I wished I could see her perform again, so... Um, yeah, but that's you, Tomas! We're not you! <laughs> I'm just saying, he's got a reason. Reese reaches forward and takes another drink, with an expression of someone whose soul has left their body. Reeves! <laughs> Reeves! <laughs> Starstruck last time. <laughs> Reeves! Reese puts a hand over his heart and raises a hand and says, I promise not to ask your parents for a scrap fountain. Thank you? That's probably good because you asked his god for one. Yeah, but that was <sighs> we... funny. <laughs> we didn't know it was feck at the time. It, I mean, what did the... But in retrospect, that, ma that makes it a lot better. Kind of does. Mm-hmm. Right, right. But that's not till tonight, so what are we doing until then? Um, are we... 
so I had from last time, I thought we were still, like, we had still been running around doing our chatting with people. Is it still that same day, or...? Yeah, yeah we met is... up for lunch. That's right, okay. Yep, it's lunch of the second day you are there. You arrived mm. last night and mostly just set up lodgings. Matt. That's yes. Right. Did we see, did Tomas and I see, like, a performance schedule at the Gilded Opera House? Uh, most of the posters were about the performance in a week and three days, but you did see a smaller performance being held by another company was scheduled for tomorrow at 7 p.m. Okay. Um... Oh, uh, go ahead, Sam. Oh, no, you go. You go. Oh, okay. Um, well, I was going to suggest that maybe we, uh, look at, um, uh, attending the... Well, we were, we were just talking about making attendance at the Gilded Opera Hot House, but, uh, uh, Tomas, I seem to recall that the, uh, next performance isn't until tomorrow night. Yes, that is what we saw. Yeah. Well, if you guys are feeling particularly breachy, I do know that the, uh, the building where they're supposed to be having the peace talks is over by the temples. I am not feeling particularly preachy, no, but if that's where you want us to go, I will go with you. I mean, we can always just, like, check it out and see what's going on over there. I mean, it, it's well, if the you other guys thing want to, If you guys want to investigate instead of going to dinner tonight, that's totally fair. I mean, we got time I mean, for dinner. I mean, we have, like, a few hours. You, you asked what we wanted to do until then. Uh, I'm not sure I was having a whole lot of luck in like, talking to people on my end, so... I guess I'm saying I'm up for about whatever if anyone needs help or has a better lead than I got. Yeah, unfortunately, my only lead is that there's not enough guards to guard all the mansions. Yeah, as far as killing time, I've given the best I got. What was Nathan's name again? Wolf. No. Oh, dog. Dog. He has to <laughs> hey, hey, dog. What you got? He came with me and ate a Danish. That's kind of cute. Why did we not get Wolf stays in character and doesn't talk. <laughs> you know, we also got coffee. Do you want a Danish no. coffee, Tomas? I mean, my lord. Yes, I would, Underfoot. Excellent. Let us get some coffee and and pastries after after this lovely meal. <sighs> okay. Never thought I would say that I'm getting tired of this act, but here we are. Trust me, I could be cruder if you like. This is yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is worse than Nim insisting that I follow my manners and etiquette. Oh no, having manners and etiquette. Whatever will you do? I mean, Die. I. I mean, I'm your, I'm, I'm, I'm your servant, my, um, um, my lord. I'm the one supposed to have manners. You can behave however you like. Well, technically, he's the one with the manner, but like manner, manners. <sighs> Did you just pardon? <laughs> yeah. I'm I am so, so proud, proud of you. you. Just don't get arrested. That'd be great. That'd be great. My lord and I are upstanding citizens. We would never get arrested. I've been arrested like three times. I'm good. I'm... I'm gonna go with them just to make sure nothing happens. Thanks, Lana. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Look, we were fine the whole morning. And and we didn't we so much did as it. piss off a guard. I'm, I'm not... Into like, a building. It's not It's not you I'm worried about, Reeves. Tomas seems to be gradually losing it. I was being nice, dear. It's barely so lunch, I feel like We get dances and coffee after lunch. 
and then we go watch the preachy people, and then we go to dinner. Sounds good to me. Reese is gonna look at Mika and Wolf and be like, "So, what do you two want to do?" Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, well, where haven't we looked yet? Well, let's see here. So, let me double check, Matt. Just out of character wise, we've checked. We've checked up here, right? And then here. And here. And I think Mika checked down here. I think down there. Say, I was mostly running we... around the market, like specifically with the smiths and some of the dwarves. I've, so, I've... so I've got the only thing. <coughs> so we have we checked. have we not checked this area over here? What is that area? That's we have a good not question. That area. I think Lana something Lana was talking uh had been talking to mentioned the black roofed area, but I don't remember what context this is uh, the northern black roofed area was the caretaker's house and lana would have gotten with their brief summary that this is mostly where the laborers live yeah it's down south where all the nobles are nobles are right here oh then what's and the, some what have manors along the western coast what was on the south side then this is mostly where laborers live Oh, I thought that was north side. North side is specifically like the caretakers for the town. Oh, Laborers okay. are the people that man all the buildings. Got it, got it. Sorry. No problem. Well, I suppose we can check there, see if anybody's seen anything odd. Do we know... Uh, do we remember about when Nara spotted this particular lit up light up on the board. Was it here from the start once we got things back up and running? No. It was later, after we defeated Envy. So mm -hmm. that was how long ago at this point? It's only been a what, a few weeks now? It's hmm. been like almost a month, right? Well, just be uh, just because it didn't show up until uh, uh, until after we uh, we uh, we. Uh, we defeated Envy doesn't really mean much because we woke up at the same time, right? Yeah, that's my understanding. Yeah. We just we just didn't have visibility on them until after we dealt with the first one. But at least it tells us that it's been here that long, so it means at least we've been able to see it that long. It means it's been here that long. That so I I mean so that helps rule out any real newcomers, I guess. Yes, yeah, so it's either hidden away somewhere, hiding, or it's hidden in plain sight. One of the two. Probably the, the latter, if I had to guess. Which one even is this again? We know which one we're looking for here, right? I don't think so. I mean, we found Gluttony in a, in a, in a sealed off cave. That's true. But... And none of them have looked particularly human, or anything similar. Well... Except Envy. I... But even Envy looked off. Well, when I was talking to, when I was talking to the smithies in the market and didn't get very much about anything unusual, um, they were mentioning that the Silver Boys have been around for a while, but other than that... Um, yeah, they're with the uh, the minister, right? The, well, the one who's here on behalf of the king? I, yeah, there's a, the minister here for the Brisian king, and the elven king is here also. Um, it makes you wonder... But no halflings or dwarves. None of the halfling kingdoms have showed up, and none of the dwarves have showed up, and we can guess why the dwarvens haven't, but the halflings... Chester's at Veru? Yeah, uh, but the halflings, I don't know why they wouldn't yet be here. Chester's at Veru? Veru was mostly made up of halflings, right? Veru is an eastern continent that's a bit separate. The halflings are northwest of Brescia, yeah, um, the area more... surrounding Cindergate. So, um, I... Veru is another mixed race conglomerate. I gotcha, I gotcha. I can make guesses as to why some of the halflings aren't here yet, but I don't know how accurate that might be. I don't know if. 
I don't know if something's occupying them or not. I haven't heard anything. Beyond that, that's all I've really gotten. The Elven, I don't know how long the Elven King himself has been here, though. The question is, is maybe people aren't talking because we look like we're not from here? Uh, maybe. It's not the impression I got, at least from who I was, from the dwarves I was talking to, but, you know, merchants are different than others, so... Not sure. I don't know. I just know I've not found much useful, so we can definitely go check out the laborer area, if nothing else. They're in and out of places that most people don't think to look. No one even looks at them. Well, let's see what we can dig up. It's better than just sitting around idly. Right. Agreed. And off they go. Alright. Where is the Danish cart? Up north somewhere. I wasn't really paying attention. Where's the preachy people, Lana? Um, over, uh, just a little bit to the west. Sorry, I had to do the calculator. Oh, just a little west of here. It's there. It's easy to find. You'll you'll see it as soon as we leave. It's like, it's some of the big old buildings right over to the side. Okay, but Danish is first. Okay. Sure. Can you really call them Danishes when? Yes. <laughs> Dwarvishes? Yes, they were invented by B Grand Baker Danish. That's yes. fair. That is fair. The true pinnacle of his craft. What a, what a champion. <laughs> Just like the mayor of Muffins. <gasps> yeah. A small town that was doomed to fall during the, uh, during the incursion. So unfortunate. Sad. Okay, what which group is going first? Uh, we will handle your group because they figured out what they were doing first. Okay. So we get Danishes and coffee. Yep. So you grab Danishes and coffee. Uh, I believe it is. It's relatively cheap. Uh, I'll services. Grab it for the three of us. Uh, two. Lana will not be partaking. I'll grab it for the two of us. Yay. Yay. It is five copper for each of you. So a silver total. <coughs> Reeves restrains himself from eating the whole thing in one bite. <laughs> All right. She thanks you for your service. Or rather, thanks you for your patronage. Oh, so a thought struck me. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Well, um, if I, I get the feeling that they're maybe assuming that um, the sin is blending in as someone, but what what if if it's just locked away somewhere? Maybe. Um, we're probably not going to find anything useful in such a place, but it might be worth checking out a library to check their records about recent events or something or at least or at least within the last year or maybe ask about people of interest um see if anybody's well like um reese told them about his dream right yes no uh not fully reese told them about the theater being in his dream okay Well, um, yeah, people of interest, uh, would else be nice to see what went on in the island within the last part of the incursion or like, just, or like just before it. Mm -hmm. So I feel as though that looking into the opera house might be our, might, might be most productive considering it was tied to Reese's dream but that'll come tomorrow I guess well if you want to figure out what happened to the incursion you're walking with a sister of Argus learning about combat and defending tactics is something I can probably get us into without looking too weird about it anyway well you'll take point then
So we're going to the library instead of the preachy people? Well, I'll go to the preachy people first to maybe find out where the library is. Okay. I'm all for this. Alright, so where are you guys heading exactly? Uh, Temple District, I think, just to try to find the, the building where the peace talks are taking place. Yep. Or, so, whatever. Yep. So you guys head up to the Temple District. Uh, the three southernmost buildings are the three major churches, and that large central one surrounded by barracks is the place where all the peace discussions are happening, based on what you were told previously. Oh, that big one's the building. Um, judging from the way it's armored up, it probably won't be uh, getting in. There are guard. There are several guards from several factions standing at each entrance. <laughs> It'd be difficult, but yeah, probably not our best interest right now. Okay. Yeah, if I wasn't a lord of a city that got destroyed four years ago, I'd say we could get in. But. I don't think I hold that weight anymore. I mean, I mean, the uh, uh, the only uh, consequence that I have is that uh, well, I'm one, I'm part of the party of, party of, of adventurers that ever is after. So, <coughs> otherwise, I'm a goblin. Yeah. Oh, you're a halfling. Yeah. A theoretical goblin. I uh. A, a flesh? Well, no, that's not fair. I was going to say flesh goblin, but that isn't right. You have flesh. Um, sure. Metaphorical. Goblin. Metaphorical goblin. Yes, that's I mean, a... aren't, we, aren't we all goblins deep in our hearts? No. Uh... Gremlins? <laughs> Gremlins, yes. Reese suddenly feels very upset and doesn't know why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so Lana, <laughs> go go do your uh, go do your uh, talking to the preachy people thing. All yeah, right, do the um, voodoo that you do. <laughs> Lana is going to try to find somebody that looks like they're not busy. That's just kind of, um, you know, tending to the churches or something. Yep. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, so it looks like um. The temples of the mother and the architect are both um, busy going through their duties right now. Um, but you do see that the church of the web spinner, or the thread spinner rather, um, the main priest in there is currently pit is currently uh, see appears to be idle going about the main uh, central cathedral and looking around thoughtfully at some of the murals that have been placed up around the room but otherwise okay. doesn't seem to be entertaining anybody else so I'm not gonna try to RP this because my brain suddenly just kind of did the no good mm -hmm. Lana's basically just going to approach him and then try to just kind of be like hey as somebody who's interested in learning about just kind of defensive tactics and way to protect people where would i go to learn about the way that this uh city held it down like during the incursion and stuff uh is she looking for historical information like archives yes. historical information archives yeah okay just just under the guise of furthering her studies you know under okay it. So, uh, you talk back and forth with the man for a bit, uh, but he eventually points you towards um, the uh, Grand Archives on the island. Uh, he notes that during the day at the moment, because they have foreign guests, they're likely that you're not going to be able to get into the building, but um, in the afternoon when the talks have died down, it's likely that they are letting, not likely, they are letting the general public back in to peruse if 
um, you are interested in that sort of thing. Okay. Um, Lana will uh, give him a polite thanks and just kind of a nod of her head and just go and just go and uh, relay that newfound knowledge to Reeves and Tomas that the building should be open in the afternoons once the talks and, are over. And so the building in which the talks are taking place in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, Matt? Yes. Do we get the sense that we would have time to go do that and then still make it for dinner? It depends on when the talks end. Okay. He didn't seem to have a good idea on when that would be. It's not like okay. a set schedule that he's made aware of, at least. Okay. Well, one option for another day, if nothing else. Mm-hmm. Um... You know, with all the business with the gods going uh, going on, maybe we we haven't really visited any of the uh, we haven't visited any temples of them. At least I haven't. I've poked my head into a couple, but they're all fairly busy. Um, I'm curious on how uh, their their disciples are handling this, if they're affected at all. I mean, isn't the god stuff kind of hush hush? It is, but I don't know. Wouldn't wouldn't the mother goddess getting stabbed have some ramification for their for for, for her followers? I don't know how this works. That's actually a really interesting thought. I'm not gonna lie, somebody who knows something how this works out. Yeah. You know what? Uh, That's a great idea. I also do note that Emmy is a cleric of the mother and she has still had access to her healing magic. Hmm, okay. Oh shit, that's right. Mm. So at the very least, whatever font she's drawing from is still there. They could still be drawing something funny. Emmy is a baby. Well, I'm down. I'm good for whatever you guys want to do. The the library thing was up was only my was my only thought. I definitely want to poke my head into the archives at some point, but it ain't got to be today if the talks are going to go too late. Yeah, yeah probably um, not. Want to just hang out until dinner and see if the archives open up? Yeah, so that that sounds fair to me. Works for me. All right. So you guys will hang around for a bit. Uh, Reese, Mika, and Wolf. You guys are up. Oh boy. So what were we looking to do? They're off. <clears throat> we were going to investigate the labor area and see if anybody's found anything suspicious or seen anything weird, I guess. All right. I've got nothing, my brain is right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. kind of in the same boat. <clears throat> Wolf's gonna stick with his, uh, client. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> is God damn it, <laughs> uh, so Reese is gonna see if he can find anyone, like, taking a break, or that seems approachable. And see if he can start talking about, uh, anything. <laughs> Uh, if you want, I will let you make a society or a perception check to get a read. Oh god, which one's higher? They're the same! <laughs> that is unfortunate. Uh, 31, perception. Alright. Uh, so, after a little bit, uh, you find two people that seem to be relaxing towards the end of their lunch break, uh, just having a casual conversation back and forth. Uh, they seem to be a fairly friendly sort, and out of all the people you've seen thus far, they're the most... They seem the most open to conversation at the moment. Okay. Reese will glance back at Mika and Wolf, and then approach them. <laughs> and say... 
I love their lovely day, isn't it? That it is, my lord. What can we do for you? I was just looking to learn more about this lovely island you have. Any local stories or any strange goings on that I should be aware of? I'll make a diplomacy check. Oh boy. Let's see if I roll like a two. That'd be funny. <laughs> Hell yeah. And it would be very on brand. 35. Hey. Hey. Off brand, that's pretty good. Off brand Reese rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Reese actually putting K that modifier to use. Kmart great value. <laughs> you still have Kmarts? <laughs> no, the one near me just closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got Hmart, but no Kmart. Alright. An endangered species, Kmart. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're extinct. But yeah. Uh, so, you talk back and forth a bit. Um... They note that security is a bit more increased than usual, which is a bit jarring considering how quiet things have been for the last uh, year or so. Um, probably explained by the nobles that have arrived and the more that will be arriving shortly. Um, other than that, nothing terribly out of place that they're aware of thus far. At no least weird. anything that they've noticed. No weird folklore stories or anything like that? Urban legends? <laughs> it's fine if not. <laughs> you can just tell me no. Unfortunately not. The island has been around only for a really brief period of time in the grand scope of things. So, they don't have as many fanciful stories as you might expect from a big yeah. city. That's what I figured. Um. Cool. Eventually, Reese will go back to walking with Wolf and Meek and be like, Nobody seems to think anything strange is going on here, so whatever's, wherever it's hidden, it's hidden well. Mika would actually like to be keeping an eye out for... Uh, well... Dwarves are halflings, actually. Preferably dwarves. Roll me a perception check. Okay. Where's my character sheet? Uh, 28. Uh, aside from the one that you saw at the Armorsmith, you notice no dwarves or halflings amongst the population. Huh. But the Armorsmith had been here for a while. He wasn't brand new. Correct. That's interesting. What's interesting? I'll just... I mean, you usually run into my kin, Rin the Smiths, and Whatnot, but we're not always doing that. We should be. You hear some, we're sometimes helping out in the houses, but I don't see anybody like that here. Or halflings, and they're usually. Everyone. The, the halflings are always in a noble house. At least the ones I know of, so I don't know why there aren't any here now. Could mean trouble. Well, I mean, there was trouble back home, so it's possible that everyone left the island and went home, but it's still a little unusual. I don't know. Reese is gonna look back at his quote-unquote escort and be like, Thoughts? Wait, can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Hello, Nathan. Hi, Kevin. Um. Uh, not really. Reese kind of sighs. He's like, it's starting to feel like we're bad at our job. 
That or it's just very well hidden. It seems like something... I mean, it's not like the ones we've, been, we've encountered this far have been slouches, so I don't know... It just doesn't make a lot of sense. It's been here this long, and nobody's... There's no weird stories about something in the streets, or nobles going missing, or bad... Or oh, ghost no. stories, even. Even, yeah. That's... Just doesn't make sense. Don't like it. Maybe... Maybe we're looking at this wrong. Maybe it's not something that's arrived here... ...recently, but... It's most likely something that's been here for a while. So if it's been here, maybe they're, we're looking, instead of looking for new stories, maybe we should be looking for old stories that have stopped recently. They didn't have any stories that were old either. Hmm. <sighs> maybe we're approaching this wrong. Maybe it's not the people of the island we should be talking. Maybe you should be looking at something more official. Or maybe it's a very, very well-kept secret, and we just need to keep investigating places until we find it. Well, I've talked to a little bit of the market, but not... I mean, I only really talked to the smiths. There, We could go back that way. And talk to other yeah. merchants, maybe. I'm looking for the smiths didn't have anything unusual. The silver boys don't get their work done here, so nothing... No new new shipments of anything have been coming from that quarter, but maybe a different... Maybe unusual ships have shown up lately with weird supplies in the dead of night. I don't know. Reese is oh. gonna cock his head a little bit. He's like, what if it's not necessarily hiding itself? How do you mean? What if someone's hiding it? That would take... That wouldn't be easy. A large amount of Silver Knights? They've been here for a few months, but that isn't... Re that isn't to say it hasn't been here that long. We've just been able to see it for a few weeks. They got here a few months ago, but the peace talks are new. I think, aren't they? They haven't been going on for that long yet. Hmm. Have they? How long of... Uh, I can't remember out of character actually how long the... Uh... Not that I know of. Not from what my father's letter said. It was a fairly new thing. But if the knights have been here for a while, I, the that's plenty of time to... to hide something away that's unfavorable. Yeah, the smithy I spoke to mentioned they'd been around for a few months, but none of the work is done here. None of it. <sighs> Never mind, it doesn't make sense. If Eber and his ilk found it, they probably would have killed it by now. Maybe they can't. If it's disguised, oh well. If it's somebody they can't kill. For fear of ruining... If it makes things more tense, maybe it's been here for a long time as someone important and like they can't just go around yanking the chain of a noble and call them corrupt or something. Nobody knows them yet. Oh, I don't want to think about one of these things being one of the nobles in the talks. That would just... <sighs> well, we don't even know what these things want, do we? No. Well, I mean, we... The gluttony obviously just wanted to eat a lot. I and then the... Well, I guess wanted to be... Everybody wanted to be better. Don't know what Sloth wanted. Unless it was just simply to stay in one place, which it did very effectively. So what about the others? What, uh, the others but that I know of don't really seem like they'd be real private sorts. I would imagine what pride wants to be seen. What ones do we have left? Uh, pride. Wrath. Wrath. Wrath would probably be hard to keep quiet. But greed. Greed. That one, I mean, that would suit, uh, suit a bunch of nobles. Assuming your characters would know this, Tomas did mention one point that Kiral in implied that Wrath was up north. 
Uh, depends on. Uh, did Tomas tell the group that? He did. Would, mm, yep. would would our characters even know what the seven deadly sins are? Should we even be yes. having this Be conversation? Mika's okay. been reading the religion book she borrowed from Reese. <laughs> uh, Reese like, and I guess lust, I suppose. And we know where wrath is, so it just leaves the other three. Wait, say that again. Pride, greed, and lust. Hmm. Well. Does so, yeah. If we knew, if we would know that uh, wrath was, we would be up north at least. Pride, greed, and lust, all of which seemed like they could fit in with the nobles. And they'd be hard to keep. Want to be surrounded by important people and shiny stuff, depending on who you're talking to. Hmm. I don't. I have know. a feeling. I have a hunch. It may be wrong, but wherever we're looking for this, it's not going to be in a place that's. It's not going to be with the devoid of people. Oh, There's a whole island trapped full of people, and none of them seem to know anything weird. So maybe it just doesn't move among the common people. We haven't talked to any fancy folk yet. Maybe we talk to the fancy folk. At dinner with your parents, maybe. Can't. <sighs> I would prefer not to get my parents involved in this, if well, at all possible. They've not been here, so they wouldn't know anyway, but who else might no. be there tonight? So we might be able to... We are visiting as well and ask the local fancy folk about the island. Yeah, that might be a good bet. But we have to be more careful because... They could probably see through our guises much e more easily. Which is why you get to talk and not me. <sighs> okay. Well, at least that skill of mine is coming in handy. Very much so. Uh, what time would it be by the time we finished our investigations, Matt? Uh, probably around mid-afternoon. Okay. I guess we'll... Uh, Risa look at Mika and be like, so where should we go? Well... If we're looking at nobles, that would be more in the center of the island, wouldn't it? I, but I... I mean... I don't know how we would get to any of them. We're just here as merchants visiting for... trying to get something out of the peace talks. We're not... I don't. We don't have any in with any of them that I can think of. You're the only one who's got any sort of in. Me? I mean, your parents are well known and all that. Yeah, but it, I don't think I really want the entire island to know that I'm here. So then, I don't really want to get stabbed. I mean, that's... again. <laughs> that is a fair point. But and I don't want to compromise my parents for harboring a uh, fugitive of a god. Then, then, hmm. Why don't we just head back to the central area where all the nobles are and see if we can hear anything first. See if they're being gossipy. It's worth a shot. Maybe blend in with some of the regular folk or something there. Like, just kind of cling on the edges. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's the next best thing to do. And besides, I believe our other three companions are there anyways, so... May as well meet up before dinner. I'll follow you, because I sure got no other ideas. This is sneaking about is not my strong suit. Thank you for this beautiful social puzzle, Matt. <laughs> no problem. So you're meeting back up with the others at the central area? Yeah. Alright, so around mid to late afternoon, uh, you guys up in the central area see 
the forms that you recognize as Reese, Mika, and Wolf approaching. So, so, so then Dad opens the jar, and then the spider springs out, and oh man, you guys should have seen the look on his face. He, he slipped over, and we were scared for a minute, but then it turned out fine, so it's a funny story. Dude, no, that's actually- oh god. <laughs> <laughs> man, I wish I had thought of that when I was younger. Wow. He's gonna walk up behind Lana and Tomas, and then suddenly drape his arms, one over each shoulder, and be like, What you talking about? Oh, I'm just telling him about the time that we almost killed my dad with a spider. That was Amazing. real funny. <laughs> I think my dad would have killed me if I did that. I think my dad would have screamed. My dog probably would have been a bit upset, but I think most of the spiders I ran into were a little bit too large for a jar. Spiders, were you running into me, So have you ever run into a cave spider, Tomas? I have, we tend to you'd, stay on you'd, 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 you'd remember. You'd, 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 you'd know. No, I have this hunch that anything that has cave in front of its name is probably worse than its normal mundane variety. That's a good assumption, lad. What about a cave? Butterfly. Butterfly, yeah. If I run into one of those, then I will see if the theory holds up. Wouldn't that you just a be a moth? Yeah. I, I guess it would just be a moth, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How the difference between moths and butterflies when that moth is fluffy? Hmm. <laughs> Ponders. Truly a Terrible. great thinking question. Terrible friend shaped. So, uh, what brings you guys over here? We were going to see if we can pick up any useful information from the nobles because we're not having any luck anywhere else. Oh, yeah. We're just waiting for the archives to open. The archives? Yeah. Um, it's the big building over there where all the peace talks are happening. Oh. What's in... Is that a library? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, books. So the plan... Yeah, we were, we were going to have a look and see if there was anything that... Uh, maybe they covered how they defended against the incursion. Maybe there's something about something dangerous they fought. It was a... Let's see if we can't find something about that. Or demons, you know. That'd be exactly. good, too. Powerful demons that maybe they sealed under the island. Of the of the greater variety, yeah. Yeah. That's an amazing idea, Lana. Well, it was Reeves' idea, actually. Hi. Oh, Reeves. Awesome. Reeves, Reeves will reach out mean... and pat his head. <laughs> yeah. Reap seems becoming a bookish sort of fellow. I know, it's great. Wolf's gonna walk past and also pat Reeves on the head. <laughs> what? I'll just, go on frog just Wolf's head, the hand just like engulfs <laughs> Reeves. Oh, Bas ba basically. He, he pats him the way I pet Leo, where I just grab his head <laughs> and just, like scruff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What are you do? What are you doing? He's giving me head pats. Uh, How wolf shows affection. Oh, okay. Joser does the same thing. We also had the idea of maybe someone trying to eavesdrop on some of the nobles here and see if they're ch chatting about anything interesting. God, why didn't we think about that? Well, I don't know. Why didn't you? Thing. Because I I figured Reese would already be do I I I uh I, I figured our friend here would already be doing that. I've done it twice and gained nothing of value. Third time's the charm. <sighs> yeah, I guess I can pass up on an opportunity to actually engage in intellectual pursuits and chat up some. Nobles. Owie. I am. What? I am. I am fully expecting not to find anything. That wasn't a dig at you, Lana. You saying I'm not smart? I'm no. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm that, kidding. That... <laughs> Reese is gonna give you the weirdest look. <laughs> That's what buying nobles are intellectual. <laughs> 
I was referring to, you know, reading books as being intellectual. Hmm. No, I'm I... saying I would miss out on books because I'm talking to uh, nobles. Well, you I go saw... read books, I'll go talk to nobles. Yeah, you want to talk to nobles, Tomas? Not really, but I also don't like reading books, so... I think which... I would rather talk to the nobles. But which is worse, Tomas? <laughs> well, more because I have concerns with you and nobles. I know how to talk to nobles. I don't like to talk to nobles, but I did do it for over 150 years. You know, if you go into the library, you don't have to talk to anybody. You can just sit in a chair and watch other people do it. It's a library. It's like, you, you have to be quiet. But if you want to make the noble sacrifice of talking to some nobles, then I will certainly take on the burden of reading books for you. I just thought you wanted to go read books. I do always want to read books, you but I'm willing go. to take one for the team. Go Are read you guys fighting? Have a better night. No, I, I can't actually. I don't know. With this conversation I, right now. I don't understand what the hell. Read it's, it's, books. Fine, fine. Sit down. Dog, dog is to be my bodyguard now. Underfoot, you are taking care of. I'm looking. <laughs> I made a note in my channel, uh, Elred. Uh, you will be watching over Master Elred for now. Yes, yes, my lord. What just Hope you learned some good information, Tomas. Reese is gonna pat his cheek. Tomas <laughs> is just gonna scowl at him a little bit. Do you want me to post it? Hold on. I put okay. mine. I put mine on my character sheet under my. Character I got you, name. fam. I got I the got full mine. list. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Amazing. Uh huh. The one time I took notes. <laughs> yeah, actually, I know I everybody's names notes. too. My notes. It's a were good time to take notes. And then I stopped. <laughs> I love how the party was like, "Are they fighting?" <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> because mostly just going, you guys are being fucking weird. <laughs> Hashtag Tomas and Reese. Oh, uh, they're being. just being. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to antagonize. I heard you like blow, and I'm like, did you just blow your smoking gun? Is that what just happened? <laughs> no, I'm cleaning models while you guys have your debates. Okay. I know, I'm debating whether or not I want to accept That's the best. Debate. That's the best moment as a DM when your players are just running the game for you. Mm -hmm. I have like 10 hours of sanding and failing to do, so. Alright. <laughs> so, have you guys made your decisions? Yes. Wait, babe. Yes. Am I eavesdropping or am I asking them questions? I'm gonna leave that up to you. Okay, no, but if I'm asking them questions, what do I ask them? Let's see if anything interesting's happening. Are you sure you don't want no, me I'm to? Fine. I'm fine. Okay. Hurry, run before he offers to <laughs> not read books again. Come on, let's go look around real quick. Is there anybody there, Matt? Uh, a couple guards and clergymen, mostly. Plus, is gonna step up to reach real close, lean in, kiss his cheek, and then run away really fast. Probably in the wrong direction. Reese is gonna ha both be look bewildered for a second, and then look vaguely affronted. Mika's just blinking like the fuck is up with the elf. <laughs> Are you sure you guys aren't fighting? Because this is how my parents behaved when uh, when, uh, when, uh, when they were fighting. I don't know anymore, Reebs. I don't really know anymore. It's Baldrick. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Ugh, never mind. So, I guess we're waiting for the library to open. Uh, yeah, and for them to give the all clear for us to go in. We're just hoping that's before dinner. 
Uh, well, if not, if... we can always come back tomorrow. You guys oh. don't have to come to dinner if there's something that you'd like to research during that time. I want to, though. I mean, okay. I mean, you're the one that suggested we stick together, so... I know. And yet, All Tomas right. just ran off. Ran off. Yeah, yeah. Well, he Tomas was told didn't... to go talk to nobles. I know. <laughs> more, like, <laughs> more like he voluntold himself. He voluntold himself so Reese wouldn't volunteer told himself. Okay. So Tomas, are you eavesdropping on nobles or are you trying to <laughs> have a conversation with nobles? He's gonna start off with eavesdropping on them. Alright. So you know the manor district is over here. That's where most of the nobles are housed. Where are you going to eavesdrop on nobles? Can you show me where the manor district is again? Because I might have been alt up. It's just north of that central zone. Yeah. Did anybody mention having already gone there? Uh, Reese went into like this ish area, I think, in the more touristy trappy area. Oh, I'll go more towards, like, go for a quote unquote stroll through the manor district. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you can roll me either a stealth or society to blend in. Uh, 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 25. Not 25, 35. Alright. <coughs> Stroll, you are strolling around, and based on what you're seeing, maybe 30 to 40% of the manors are currently occupied. Uh, most mm -hmm. of them have fancy names from a variety of cultures. Uh, most of them seem to be either Bressian or Elven, but there are a number of dwarven manors built into the mountainside towards the west and a number of halfling manors that are a bit smaller. And they seem to be more communal in nature than the uh, single-purpose dwellings seen elsewhere. I see my game plays just outside, chill, and have some chat. Uh, no, it look, you can see a couple of the manors have lights on, but it doesn't look like anybody's currently strolling through the streets. You said that like there were dwarven and halfling manners and all that jazz. Like, is it for like the ones that are occupied? Is it of all races or? Uh, the only ones you see occupied at the moment are human and elven. Oh, that's uh, good. Yep. Yep. On several of them, you recognize family names, mostly from the elven ones, and where applicable, some of them have their crests on display, either on flags or on on like innate, ornate rather, uh, displays somewhere on the property. Um, so you recognize a few of the elven ones, and you presume the other ones are their own family heritages. Would any of the elven ones would you recognize as being like particularly friendly ones towards like his family and all that jazz? Roll me a society. Oh, that's we roll in a society. 31. Thirty one. Shame on you, Sophie. Most of them who are pretty neutral in on terms to you, uh, uh, but you do see the crest of is... 
Uh, you see the crest of House Renzina. Was that one that was friendly? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, it was mostly due to your father's relations. Yeah. You were give or take on them. Yeah, that's not too Um, Tomas is gonna go knock on a door. Uh, which one? House friends, you know. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a water filter. <laughs> it does. Got is the rival? Is the rival family? Family the uh, the the Brita? The Brita? <laughs> yes. No, stop. <laughs> you take the names where you can get them, man. You're bullying them. <laughs> the Great Hydro Wars of 1832. No, no, no. You see, the information just filtered down to the masses. I hate you all. So, uh, <laughs> you knock on the front door, uh, and after a moment, the door cracks open, and uh, you see a finely dressed uh, elven man, most likely not a noble, given your understanding mm -hmm. of how these things work. Uh, and they seem to look you over, slightly confused at why you walked up to the front door and knocked. Uh, may I help you, sir? Uh, yes, um, I am- I apologize for my forwardness, you see, I was- I'm- I'm- I haven't visited this island before, and I was going for a stroll, and it- I saw the family crest, and I feel like I was struck with a bit of nostalgia, you see, um, my father was a great friend with House Renzina, um, shit, he has a name, uh, fuck! <laughs> It was a, uh, it was Lord Nilo. Um, I was just curious if, if your lord was around, if he felt like catching up at all. Uh, roll me a diplomacy check. Okay. That one is a twenty-six. Let us see. I will check with the young master. Uh, it's just so you know, uh, I'm not obviously my father. I'm his his third eldest, Tomas. Of course, yeah. I'll be sure to pass that along. Go we'll wait right here. Yeah, we'll do. Reese doesn't know what's going on. Me, the player, is internally screaming. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's trying. He just. Compromise his cover, dude. Yeah. I mean, we are also about to go to dinner with Reese's parents, who will know exactly who he is, so, like... You know? We're about to be compromised anyways. Fair, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you wait for several minutes, and eventually the elven man returns and says, uh... The young master regrets that the schedule for the rest of his evening is booked up, but if you wish to join him tomorrow for breakfast at the estate, he has cordially opened uh, the halls to your company if you would like to join him. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that, that actually sounds lovely. It, it has been a while since I've been around the noble elves, so it will be... Enjoyable, to say the least. I thank you so much for your time, sir. It is no trouble at all. We will be expecting you in the morning. Enjoy the rest of your day, good sir. You too. He's gonna turn around to walk away and immediately the fake noble smile is gonna drop. As he realizes that now he has to go to breakfast. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's gonna go back to his friend. We <laughs> Like, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> the things I do for information. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. So, uh, before Tom Tomas can return, um, the session appears to let out, uh, and you see several individuals departing from various doors uh, and dispersing for the evening. Uh, ooh. Uh, you do not see the Bressian contingent depart, but you do see the Elven contingent depart out of the eastern door. Who do we see among them? All right. Uh, you see five individuals depart uh, from the eastern door and begin to head down the northern passageway towards the noble district. Um, Reese, you would you would recognize the white-haired gentleman as the current uh, high king of the Elven lands. Uh, and you would obviously recognize your two parents. The other two are unknown to you, but appear to be armed and armored to an extent, though not nearly as much as the other silver uh, knights. We're just going to turn his head and do his best not to get noticed by his parents. Mm -hmm. You are wearing a disguise to an extent, though. Yeah, but still. Yeah. Mom always Mother always does. knows how <laughs> they appear to be distracted with a conversation with the king uh, and do not recognize you as they depart uh, a short while after they leave eventually the guards relax on and cut down to half their normal numbers uh, and you can see the main doors to the building open up uh, and you see a couple others slowly start to trickle towards the building all right, um, Reeves will approach one of the guards and ask, uh, is the, uh, uh hello, is the, uh, archive, uh, now accessible? The guard looks down at you and says, yes, the archives will now be open for the next few hours before the building is closed down for the evening. Uh, my thanks, kind sir. Not at that. And he'll go back to the group and 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 say just that. All right. Well, let's get after it. Yep. Uh, Reese, you have uh, about an hour or so until dinner. Okay. All right. I will go in and help them research. All right. Uh, yeah. So there are many towering shelves of books uh, within the archives. Um, the big fun uh, indexes at the head of each aisle. Uh, and there is a bit of a categorization going to it, uh, trying to maintain some semblance of alphabetical and chronological order depending on the type of records you're looking for um it's mostly uh informational records uh so if you're looking for anything specific i need to know what it is so we can determine the check okay well reeves is first going to enter look around look at reese um i just realized something yes I've never been in a library before. Well, well. Let me show you the wonders of a library. <laughs> Mika's got an idea of where she's looking, so she's kind of going to wander off and do a bit of poking on her own. 
Right. Reese is going to look for um, any historical records of the demon incursion. Yeah, same. Uh, well, gonna Especially evolving too. the island. Yeah, just like defense of the island. Any particular threats they had to handle. Yeah, Reeves doesn't know how to navigate this, this sort of large archive, so he's just like, help! <laughs> <laughs> he's a wolf, so he's probably going to stand guard. Oh my gosh. I appreciate his dedication to his job. You want Wolf to search books? He reads! He reads! That's he literally different. did it for a job! That's, that's very different. No, it's I'm not! Really, I'm no. really glad nobody called Tomas out and spending like most of their first month together sitting next to Wolf reading. It's okay, <laughs> Reese will wake up in a sweat like, wait a second, that motherfucker. Anyway, Wolf makes a good attempt to help. Like, there you go. All right. <laughs> what does Wolf want to look up? Uh. Matt. Yep. No one else knows this but you. They totally can hear me, but Wolf just kind of looks. He's just looking over the books and going. He's just interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's pretending. <laughs> No, right. you didn't so, hear that step. You can't respond. So, Wolf, <laughs> roll me a D one thousand. We'll get to you. No, oh thanks. no! <laughs> oh no! So I love Matt. <laughs> Chaos. Hell huh. yeah, dude! <laughs> That's surprising right. that you rolled under a hundred. Uh -huh. I know. It's a gift. All right. Uh, so, what were you looking at? Um, Mika, you were the first to run off. What were you looking for? Mika is actually going to see if she can find any records of any disease happening in the past, oh, since the demon incursion. And, uh, basically looking for anything, uh, similar to Cindergate. Gotcha. All right, roll me a perception check. Oh, hell yes. Natural 20 for a total of 40. So, uh, you look over the most recent records of the island since the end of the... In, since the last six months of the incursion up until the current date. Uh, and mainly looking for any medical information like diseases or sicknesses or magical um, ailments that were encountered by the inhabitants. Uh, and you find no such records of sickness mentioned anywhere within them. Nothing recent. She'll start digging back older if she doesn't find anything recent, just to see if there's any oddities she can track down. Nope. Uh, digging over all the information, you can see that a good majority of the population, especially the nobles, uh, returned to their homelands to make sure that affairs were in order there. Uh, only some of the local laborers and caretakers as well as a contingent of guards from various nations remained behind um it looks like for the most part the island was relatively unimpacted by the war given how remote it was compared to everything else um but since it is home to some of the best trained forces within each nation whatever um stragglers did make it to its shores were dispatched with minimal damage to uh, some of the establishments along the coastline. But you see no mention of anybody being sick or any major disease outbreaks for decades. Can't think of anything else I'd look for with that kind of a roll, damn it, so, alright. Yep. Unfortunately, 20s do not make mad information appear out of nowhere. Uh, nope. I can hope, though. Yeah. Alright, uh, Lana and Reese, you were looking up information on, um, the defenses of the island, and what was you looking for specifically, Reese? Any major events? I muted myself in Discord like a hooligan. Um, I want to modify mine slightly 
I still want to look into events related to the demon incursion, but I also want to look at architectural records. Got it. So, Lana and Reese, each of you give me perception checks. This is going to be funny. Perception. Hey, Macarena. 27, <laughs> not bad. Not as bad as it could have been. Bad. So, uh, you guys collectively look over information. Lana, you find a lot of uh, similar information that... Um, Mika saw, more specifically, uh, the guards that remained behind consolidated most of the inhabitants to temporary shelter towards the center of the island uh, and sent out scouts occasionally to check the outer rims for any sign of intruders um, and had specialized small task groups that were very good at working together that they would dispatch to deal with issues as they arose. Uh, though they did encounter some losses from surprise attacks, um, they encountered very much lower than expected losses considering most of the other uh, encounters other nations were facing during the war. Mm. Uh, it looks like there was light damage to some of the outlaying structures, um, but those are either repaired since then or currently under repair and expected to be resolved shortly. Okay, so nothing about any particular, like, no, no no details about any, like, dangerous enemies or anything that would have shown up? Nope. Um, considering that it is all the major players nearby have vested interests in keeping this place in order, it looks like the only threats they would have faced were demons, and considering how far off they are from the mainland, very little made it to the shores. <sighs> well, from what I'm reading, it seems like this place made it out pretty easy from the wars. Nothing about anything that would lead us to a greater sin, sadly. Well, at least one place did. Well, I mean, you know, back home was alright, too. But, you know. Uh, Reese, you find slight- Oh, God. You find slightly similar information. Um... But digging into the architectural records, uh, you find a large majority of the island, uh, while well, some of the core infrastructure was built by um, the funds of the nations themselves, a lot of the various establishments like the shops, the inns, uh, the manors, uh, the entertainment district in its entirety, all of those were built by contributions of either individual nobles or nobles working in tandem to accomplish such feats. Uh, and there appears to be detailed records about the donations from each noble to each establishment. Are there any crests on any of these documents? Uh, each of those, the documents you're looking at for contributions contain family names. You could probably cross-reference that with, uh, heraldry books, if you could find any. Do I remember the crest of the man from my dreams? Roll me a will save, and we'll see. Uh Oh! What? Oh dear. <laughs> a will save. Interesting. 36. So you try to think back on it, and the images all appear blurry in your head, but you try to focus on that thought for a moment, and you feel a pain arc up the back of your neck, almost like a tension headache for a moment. And then the pain dissipates, and like a fog rolling away, suddenly the image comes into your mind of a checkered crest, opposite corners of navy blue and indigo, uh, and a family sigil of a variety of wildflowers. I'm going to look for that sigil and cross-reference it against donations made. All right. So you start looking over the ooze. Oh. 
Uh, after a bit of investigation, you come across a name. Yeah? Yeah. You find the crest of one Sir Arthur Lloyd. A Bressian noble. Uh, it appears he had heavy contributions to most of the entertainment district. And based on the records you see, he was one of the people that was instrumental in the creation of the theater at which your family will be performing. Uh, any mansions? He does have a mansion on the island. Okay. We're just going to jot that down. <laughs> All right. Is it close to dinner time? Uh, it is getting very close. Yes. Reese is going to close the book and be like, okay, um, it's almost dinner time. I suppose we should call it for now. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Wolf. Yes. <laughs> so while the others were all busy with statistical data, uh, Wolf, you wandered off a little bit uh, and found a section that was a bit unique and slightly more interesting to you. Uh, it appears you have found your way over to the area where they store all the maps. Ooh. They have rows and rows of architectural diagrams and maps of the various nations and the surrounding terrain. All the information you could need about any given layout. Is there anything in particular you would like to look at? Um... Ooh... Can I only choose one or multiple? That depends on... We'll see how much time you have. Wolf would like to check out the Hell Knight home and the uh, hunting ground. All right. So uh, you track down uh, the records for the uh, Black Legion Keep. Um, as well as some topographical diagrams of the hunting grounds. So, if we pop back here real quick. Uh, we know that the Blackstone Keep is roughly this location here. Uh, it was one of the few forts in central Brescia to survive the incursion. Uh, and was adopted in the later half of the war as their headquarters since it was in the, the center region where most of the um, heaviest fighting was taking place. Uh, it appears to um, be primarily built out of a dark stone of some type. Uh, the diagrams do not mention the exact construction of the walls. Uh, but it appears to be very heavily defended. Um, thick walls built into the mountainside at an angle that would be difficult for most people to get direct access to. Um, and it appears to have a capacity to hold anywhere between a couple dozen and a couple hundred, depending on how long they want to last. And by a couple hundred, I mean like one. It's not oh, that shit. massive. Okay. So you have a rough idea of where that is now, as well as this general layout. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, and the hunting grounds is up here. Uh, it tends to be everything from the 
connection point between Hearthwaite, the Dwarven Empire, and Brescia right here. Uh, into the northwest here. That's roughly the general line where the hunting grounds begins. Uh, and though it is technically part of the Dwarven Empire, they don't really use the topside terrain up there as it, it is too cold and barren for most um, humans and dwarves to make a comfortable living in. So they have ceded the territory to uh, the Kirali. Uh, most of it appears to be vast, um, open tundra, interspersed with boreal forests, as well as dotted with rivers and lakes, which are near permanently frozen over, except for in the middle of the summer seasons. Um, and you have a rough idea of where things are, but you don't notice any real permanent city structures on the map. So it doesn't look like they have any known permanent cities. Okay. All right, Wolf will happily absorb all that knowledge. Yep. All right. Uh, and after you're done looking over the pair of those, you hear Reese calling out in the distance that it's probably getting close to dinner time. Uh, just a second. Uh, Reeves, after discovering how to use an index, was a little lagging behind. Um, um, I think I would have wanted him to look up... Um, what was the name of the heroes... Of the, uh, heroes... Of the seven heroes' his bard? Uh, his name was... Heroes. Uh, that was Aelwyn. Um, he, he, he's just going to go looking through the archives to see if he can find anything mentioning him. Maybe comings and goings, or um, maybe if he was like a noble uh, person of note, um, either in the Elven lands or maybe on this island. Roll me a perception check. Uh, just a 25. So you dig through all the information you can think of after picking through the index, uh, trying to find any mention of Eowyn specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, and you don't find any mention of that name anywhere in Bressian or Clearhaven records. Okay. Uh, uh, Reeves, after going through the, like, Tenth Tome, is just like, bah! What Coming. good are her books? <laughs> he puts the book away and then, uh, and runs on over. Alright. And Tomas, you would be returning as the others are leaving the building. Hi. Hope you had better luck than we did. Well, I may have found a lead. Really? What'd you find? Um. Okay. So, in my dreams, there's always this same man uh, with a particular crest. Somehow I managed to remember it. And cross-referenced it against names of nobles that have made donations, and this particular noble made donations specifically for the theater in my dreams, and a particular mansion. Might be a good starting point. Does he have... <sighs> um, okay. So your, your dreams had a real... an actual person in them. Did you know Yeah. This? You, you didn't... did you know this person I, already? No, no. I have no idea who this is. Apparently his name is Sir Arthur Lloyd. Seems boring. Is the manor occupied? I don't know. We might I was want just to following determine. donation records. Oh, well, we might have determined that first before we uh, plan our next move regarding that. 
It's just keeps Wait, getting... what was Reeves's question? Better and better. If it was fine. The... Yeah. Uh, well, um... So I did my investigating. Um, What'd you find? In fact, there are a bunch of different manners, both, um... Human and Elven, Dwarven and Halfling. Uh, the only ones occupied are Human and Elven. It's not a good sign. No. And I have breakfast in the morning. Oh, good. Yep. I'm gonna go meet with Lord Grenzai. Is that what it was? I, he would remember, Sam would not. Do you, need me to come, do you need me to come with you? Uh, that would probably be good, honestly. Yes, my lord. Except, okay, um... <laughs> When we're there, Reeves. Uh huh. Um, I'm me, not fake me. Oh. Yeah. Wait, what? That was fast. Yeah. I mean, we're about to go to dinner with your parents. Where you're gonna be, you? So. Um, yes, but they're my parents. Yeah, Reeves's parents. I think we can trust. Um, what about this acquaintance of yours? Um, Matt, did I get the impression? Because the guy said that it was Young Master, right? Yes. So it's not the guy that Tomas's dad would have been close with. Most likely not. But it's hard to tell with elves. Yeah. Well, refer to him as Young Master. So might not be the same guy that my dad was super close with, but, um... House, family, friend. Other noble elves. I'm assuming that counts for much? Yes? We live a very long time, so usually. Okay. Grudges can be held for hundreds of years otherwise. Well, hopefully your father didn't piss them off. He pissed off a lot of people, but not these ones, to my knowledge. And he usually made sure I knew which houses were good and which ones were bad and which ones were neutral, all that shit. Investigating the manner of this noble, I don't... I hope it's not occupied. That would be a little strange. Why is that? Because, I don't know, if he's in my dreams. He's a big player in my dreams. I have a feeling something happened. Well, um, I only ask if, if not occupied by him, then occupied by his kin. And, um, I can always find out in the morning. I well, know I know what he looks people. like. And I kind of know how he acts. I could always pretend to be him. That might not be smart, though, if we don't know what happened to him. Yeah. Well, it's worth investigating, and supposedly the guards are uh, having difficulty covering all the manors, so might be Reeves easy to break in. Reeves' eyes instantly light up. <gasps> yes, yes, I'm giving you permission to break into a house. Reeves is, like, like hopping on the balls of his feet. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> That's not for another six months. Oh. D wait, did we miss your birthday already? You probably did. Oh my gosh. I mean, mine was like a couple of weeks ago, but we've got bigger uh, things to deal with. Lana! So like, what? That's kind of we important. Have... It's a little no. bit important. No, it's, it's fine. Get... We should just get a cake at dinner tonight. <sighs> Speaking of dinner, we should be um, headed that way. <laughs> wait, Lana, oh, how old are you now? I'm sorry. Uh, quick side lore world lore thing. Does your world do Bethesda scheduling or like real life scheduling? Like as far as like months go. Uh, it's roughly the same monthly setup except it's all tracked by the the seasons are quote unquote the um, bay court st structure and it's the rise, rain, and fall for the three months start beginning and end of the season. Okay. It's fancy names, same structure. Mm -hmm. 
You guys mentioned birthdays, and I just realized I never set Wolf's birthday, so... I, I just kind of arbitrarily decided that Lana's 19th yeah, yeah. like... Yeah. I, I also arbitrarily decided that Reeves' birthday is in six months. <laughs> <laughs> see, I say, Mika, Mika. Well, I know Re I, I'm, I'm a nerd, so I figured out Reese is a Scorpio, so I can pick a number. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Lana would turn to Tomas like, oh yeah, I turned 19 a couple months ago. Oh my gosh, let's make Reese a Halloween baby, that's fun. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday Reese. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I think they're in like, beginning of the year though, in game. That means they missed Reese's birthday too. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody having birthdays. Nope. We've, we've, we've been busy with shit. Yeah. Reese probably doesn't even realize his birthday came and went. <laughs> Too busy being depressed and traumatized. So Reese is going to look around and be like, Well, are you ready for dinner? I guess. Ready as I'm ever going to be. Didn't find much here. Same. All right. Let's go to dinner. We <laughs> Is this going to be one of those multiple spoons and forks deals? Uh potentially. Okay. Do you need help with it as Reeves? Ah, uh, I should be fine. Okay. My family's mostly laid back so long as you're polite. They might interrogate you, maybe? My mother's a little protective. I'll just tell her that I saved you from being stabbed once. Oh, please don't. Please yeah, don't do that. That please. would probably not go over well. No mother would want to hear that. I said prevented. No, don't, don't make any mention of me potentially being hurt around my parents, please. I don't want them to freak out and never let me leave. Talk about doing nerdy shit with Reese. That'll help. Yes, um, there you go. We can talk about our adventures in studying. Yeah. About how you make fun of my draconic? Well, your draconic accent's terrible. About how you taught Reeds how to use a library. Today. Yes, exactly. Pleasant topics. To each, Not to each their own. <sighs> I just don't want to worry my parents. I think we can manage to behave for a little while. Probably... Don't worry, they're not difficult to deal with. They're they're pretty great. <sighs> I suffer from when it comes to you being stabbed. Yeah, that's just I a just don't... thing. Yeah. Oh my god, I get it. Huh? Eh? Papa! My cat. <laughs> fucking <laughs> screaming. Leo! <laughs> no. Poor cat. He's like, Father, why no pay attention to me? Nope, this is what you get. Alright. So, <laughs> let's take a five minute break while we get ready to go to dinner, and I'm gonna bully my cat. <laughs> get him, Matt. Get him. Nope, this is what you wanted. You wanted attention. Now you're getting held. 